collections, classics, customs, restorations. This is Crossroads Speed Shop. Hey, welcome to Trucking Tuesday and day three of the Crossroads Speed Shop Christmas Car Show. This week, we're taking a brief look back over the past year of the custom builds and restorations we've done here. Uh, if you missed the Sweet 16 Sunday of Miscellaneous Restoration Monday, check out those videos on the channel. Uh, this year, the shop has participated in over 30 die-cast group builds, 22 redline restorations, 6 special customs, 4 special event builds, two buddy builds. This is a total of over 60 builds. What a great year, what a fun year. So we're going to take a little bit of a look back at some of the trucks from this past year. Uh, actually, the year began with two Diecast International Builders build any truck build, and I did two for that, And but I gave those away to sons of my friend. One was a K2 Matchbox record. This truck was found by the sons of one of my friends in an old swimming hole. It was in such bad shape. I was able to source many of the missing parts from another parts truck. And since it was a larger matchbox, I had to refurbish the old wheels by using a Molotov chrome pen and giving them a dip in the Pledge Revive. Um, I saw this trick on Jim Silver's channel, uh, to how to do that. Uh, another was a Chevy pickup I did for another friend's son. This son had just restored an older Chevy pickup, and so I did a custom to look very similar to his. Well, now let's look at some of the trucks and vans still around the shop. Well, let's take a look at some of the cars that we did this year, some of the trucks, I should say, that we did this year. Um, it's, it's part of different builds and just some of the special customs that I did on my own. First, we have this 40 Ford pickup truck, uh, four horsemen. The first few ones I'm going to show are four horsemen builds. Uh, the first one I did um, was the 40 Ford. It was actually a drag truck, and what I did is I, I converted it down. I cut the back flare, the tail, tail uh fin off of it and and I, just to make it more like an old ford pickup truck would be give it the white wall wheels and i made the white tonneau cover um i detailed the lights and the tail lights on the back uh basically a little piece of chrome plastic that i had uh in, in an old model kit full-size uh 125th or i should say 125th sale model kit and i i used that to make the tail lights for the back and then in february the Four Horsemen had the Valentine's build with the VW truck. And uh, that was another fun build. And I like doing that. Just trying to think of Valentine's Day theme with, you know, some hearts and some talk about love and love, VW love and everything like that. So uh, it's got, it's got uh, red line wheels from Sam Ed Wheels with five spokes. Detail a little bit of the things up. And then in March... Uh, the four horsemen had the uh, this Land Rover. I, I believe it's a Land Rover, uh, and it was supposed to be a first safari type build. So I <clears throat> so I took out the back windows and opened up because a lot of the safari trucks I saw were were kind of open, uh, and you can kind of see in there some of the details with the tires and stuff. And then the top was from a from a Matchbox. It was actually from, I think it was a Matchbox car that had that and uh, had those different things on the top and I thought oh well that really would uh, fit really well on the top of this safari truck and those are um, Sam Ed truck tires I did uh, repaint the rims because uh, I think they were yellow and I wanted them to look more like like something that a safari truck would have and then uh, in April they had the uh, the pit crew truck that was they had, and I so I did this with golf livery. This is the Ford Lightning, and it's got five spoke Sam Ed wheels on that. Detailed the lights and the, the uh, front end. Also put some other uh, decals off from Second Chance Red Lines on there as well. Um, painted the inside with a satin black. In June, the Four Horsemen. Uh, did a uh, old man's truck using the uh, GMC uh, pickup truck, and uh, it was that was kind of a neat one. So when I did that, I thought it'd be kind of plain. Old man's truck would probably be more plain. Maybe have the wooden stake beds or whatever on on the sides, or and have you know just maybe 
similar like black black rims and and maybe a tonneau cover um, so that's what I did with that one and then in October uh, the four horsemen sponsored the uh, paint it pink for breast clean it cancer awareness that little tonneau cover comes off <laughs> uh, awareness month and uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with that one. And then I, uh, I said, what can I paint pink? What would, I, what would the theme, what would it look good? And I happened to have my uh, Red Line Club uh, El Camino, um, well, actually Fleet Side, I guess it was. It, is, and it was pink with white top. I said, well, that might be cool to do something like that. And I had this 60 El Camino, and so I painted it with uh, Retro Flame Hot Pink from the Second Chance Red Lines, and I put the, uh, um, the different scalloped stripes and things uh, from Second Chance Red Lines on it as well, uh, and just kind of detailed it up just a little bit uh, to celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Also during the year, um, I had a buddy build with Cole at uh, Cooter's Diecast, and uh, we were just doing a bash up, two a couple of casts and see what we could come up with. And um, so I did this one. I, I like that patina that came out on that old Ford truck, and uh, I. Combined a Ford truck with one of the Loluxes and uh, detailed up the engine. That back wheel that's in the back, it looks like a spare, actually acted like a nut. It was an old tire that I had in my tire collection, and I wanted to have a tire there, and I needed, but I needed a nut to hold the back on, so that worked out really well to do that. And then those are old tires, uh, truck tires from um, Sam Ed Wheels, and the front ones are just 10 millimeter. Uh, five spokes from Sam Ed Wheels as well. But I really like the patina and the shiny rust on that. Back in June, the Diecast International Builders uh, had an OPA Memorial Challenge. And, of course, OPA likes Tootsie Toys and VWs and, and Midge Toys. And, and so I had this VW, and so I decided to do this one, a little bit of a sunset fade. I detailed the front uh, VW uh, emblem and some of the parts of the, the engine on the back. Added some uh, five-spoke uh, redline wheels, real riders, and back in February of last year, uh, Diecast International Builders had a make any vehicle into an emergency vehicle or whatever, and um, I had this old Ford panel truck sitting around for a while. I've been wanting to do something with it, but I hadn't done anything. I said, hey, I should paint that up and turn it into like an ambulance medical response vehicle or whatever. And so I made the, got the medical response uh, decals that I made up. Again, those are Sam Ed wheels that are on there. Five spokes. And also back in February, uh, the Diecast Misfits had a paint it pink, but that was for Valentine's. And uh, so I chose to do this uh, Ford Raptor, and I painted it with um, Retro Flame Hot Pink and from Second Chance Red Lines, added those Sam Ed wheels, and uh, also used satin black paint to paint the interior. And I uh, really like the way that that black and pink kind of contrast each other. And then I did a series of trucks this summer uh, that were, that were kind of like trucks that, that my wife and I had owned over the years. And I just wanted to do some. This was an, I had an 82 S10 pickup truck. Uh, it wasn't four wheel drive. This was kind of set up more like a four wheel drive, but uh, it had white uh, rims and uh, tonneau cover with blue. And, and so I really liked that truck too. <laughs> uh, but when families get bigger, you need a bigger truck. <laughs> Speaking of my wife, uh, she used to have a 73 Chevy Blazer. And uh, this is actually an Adventure Force casting. I was able to just take and um, work on it because it was actually set up for a later model ca uh, casting. But I uh, did some work and uh, did some body work on it to make it look more like the uh, 73. It was that maroon with that white stripe and, and, and wheels. And so I really liked that one. It was kind of neat. Kind of neat. It shows you what you can do with those. Uh, those little adventure force cat cars as well. And last one I have is this 
F-150 Ford pickup truck. I had actually had two F-150 Ford pickups. So it was kind of a combination. One of them was a single, was a, a regular cab like this one is, and the other one had the extended cab. But the one with the extended cab was uh, the green and gold, and it was definitely much more of a rugged uh, four-wheel drive truck than than my old uh, single uh, cab one was. And it had the uh, the tonneau cover on the back. Well, that's all the trucks uh, for Trucking Tuesday that I have today. I, thank you for stopping by the shop. God bless. And I hope you come by tomorrow for Custom Car Wednesday. We'll see you then. God bless. <music>